Breaking news flash. <laughs> There's no school today. I just realized it. Woohoo! <clears throat> I love school and everything, but <laughs> when you realize it's like waking up and it's like you get up and you realize it's Saturday. Anyway, um, happy holiday to you and God bless. It's Veterans Day, so God bless all the great souls who gave their lives for this uh, freedom that we get to enjoy. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this will be the topic for the week, but it's a holiday, so we'll just pick this topic. But it's the topic of uh, adaptability. And the reason the topic of adaptability came up is because we're always saying how adaptable we humans are, right? We're so adaptable. That person's so adaptable. And the reason it occurred to me is, I don't know, maybe uh, three or four days ago, I ran out of half and half. And I've been so busy that I keep not getting half and half. And it's like every morning I get up for my coffee and I have a bit of a coffee ritual. I bet you do too. But, um, you know, uh, half and half, half and half measures availed me something. <laughs> That's for sure. I love my half and half, but no half and half. So what have I been doing? Well, I've just been taking a chunk of butter about that big and putting it in my coffee because <laughs> there's nothing else. I mean, mustard. I mean, what else am I going to put in my coffee? But that now I've come to realize that butter coffee is all the rage amongst the health ex experts of a particular ilk. Not everybody, obviously, but butter coffee is delicious. And I just realized how adaptable I am. Now, we're not talking, um, you know, Donner Party uh, discipline or rigor or regimen, but... Um, the topic today and this week will be adaptability and here's how I want to here's how I want to shape it because so far the topic is absurd and ridiculous so I my apologies it's a holiday um, but what I'm saying is let's use adaptability in its greatest possible capacity when we were kids maybe our father uh, was mean and yelled at us and we adapted to it or maybe we grew up in poverty and we adapted to it or maybe we grew up um, being shy and frightened of the world and we adapted to it or maybe we grew up in oppression of some sort and we adapted to it and then we grew up and we were teenagers or adults and maybe we began to engage in less than optimal behavior and habits you interpret that as you will but we adapted to it man are we good at, at adapting to crap but Today's message, and I'm getting tingles just thinking about it, is let's adapt to love and to joy and to abundance and to surprise and to amazement and to wonder and to glory and to unexpected goodness because you know what? We can adapt to that. Let's adapt to discipline and better habits. Let's adapt to new inspiration and guidance. If we're that adaptable, then if we can adapt to crap, we can adapt away from crap. So uh, let's look for newfound inspiration and guidance. And um, I, I want to say this with all due humility and respect. My beloved older sister passed away on Saturday night, and um, I'm adapting to the world without her, but I'm adapting to the joy and the delight and remembering only the best. And I know that she's in the hands of the infinite and I'll have my moments of sadness, but I want to adapt to the joy and the freedom that I know transitioning is for all of us. And anyway, I hope you adapt to the very best that the universe has to offer, because if we can adapt to crap, we can adapt to glory and quite quickly as well. Enjoy your holiday. I will. Maybe I'll go back to sleep and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.